So right now, whether acceleration is positive or negative depends on the direction that you choose as positive. It has nothing to do with that acceleration. So now let us assume, let us say that there is a, I'll cut this up like this, four paths. No, this is not graph. This is just four situations. Imagine that you are moving in this direction. I don't know whether it's positive direction or negative direction. For now, I'll just ignore this. There's nothing there. Okay. Now, if this is my speed and my velocity direction, my speed is u and my velocity is in that direction. If I want to speed up, can acceleration be like this? Because what is that? What does that mean? That means this big arrow is basically being shrunk that way. So which basically means my speed is reducing. So should my acceleration be like this or should it be like that? It should be like that. Okay? Now we don't know whether this is positive and that is positive. But what is happening in this situation? It is speeding up. Sure? Clear? Now suppose I had the velocity this way. Okay. And I want it to slow down. What direction should the acceleration be? Should it be like this or should it be like this? If it was like this, what will happen? I will speed up this way. So I want it to slow down. So acceleration is like that. So this is slowing down. Notice the acceleration is the same direction. But now it is slowing down. There it is speeding up. It is actually the combination of acceleration and velocity together which decides whether you are slowing down or speeding up. If acceleration and velocity are pointing in the same direction, you are speeding up. If they are pointing in opposite directions, you are slowing down. Okay. Now what I want is I want, uh, let us say that I am going like this. Actually, let us make it go like this. Like before. But I want it to speed up. Acceleration must be like that. Right? Now, I have this fellow going like this. And I want it to, there I wanted it to speed up. So now I want it to slow down. Do you see, we decided all of this without talking about plus or minus. No plus minus yet. I have not put anything plus, anything minus. So is acceleration plus or minus here? What about here? What about here? What about there? So you are saying this is plus and that is minus. And that is what? Plus and this is minus. But you told me that it was minus there. That is plus. Okay, so first of all, stop harassing yourself and everybody else because the plus minus has nothing, zero, nothing to do with whether it's slowing down or speeding up. Is this fellow decelerating? Yes. Why? Because it's slowing down. Is this fellow decelerating? No. So what is it doing? Speeding up. Not accelerating. Everywhere it's accelerating. It is speeding up. What about this guy? decelerating what about that fellow speeding up nothing no other word for us to use okay now let us start by assuming positive direction to be this way now it's an assumption new assumption whether i assumed it to be that way or not this statement these statements i have written are already true now i have assumed positive to be that way let us now figure out is acceleration positive or negative a positive. Acceleration positive or negative? A negative. Acceleration positive or negative? Positive. Well, that was the positive direction. What is this direction? So A is negative. And what about this? A is positive. Notice something. Can you have A positive and decelerate? Can you have a 
negative and decelerate. Can you have A positive and speed up? Can you have A positive or negative and speed up? So whether A is positive or negative does not correlate with whether it is speeding up or slowing down. Is that first clear? And then not just that. If I decide that the positive direction is this way, no situation has changed. This fellow is still slowing down. Because whether you call something positive or not, what is your name? And what is your name? Rohan. Rohan. So suppose I call you Rohan. What will happen? Will you change? So suppose I call you Rohan, will you suddenly be, I'll find that oh, you're not here, you're there. You're still there, right? So name is just a way to talk about things. Whether this is positive or not is just a way to talk about it. Whatever it is doing, it's doing. It's slowing down, it's real. It is slowing down. Okay. But once I say that is positive, this is wrong. What is A now? Negative. But is it decelerating? Yes. That has not changed. But A has suddenly become from positive to negative. So you cannot decide that being negative makes it decelerate. It is anyway decelerating. So what makes it decelerate? U and A are opposite directions. So that means acceleration is actually making your U's length smaller. So that means speed is reducing. Okay. So now this is positive direction. And so if that is the positive direction, what happens to A here? This is again wrong. A is positive. And now with A positive, you are speeding up. Everybody is happy. Now A is negative, you are decelerating. Again, everybody is happy. But now let us watch. What happens when that is positive? This is wrong. A is negative. But now A is negative and you are speeding up. Doesn't match with our original plan, right? Similarly, this is also wrong. And here what do you get? A is positive. And A is positive and it is slowing down. So can you have A positive and things slowing down? Yes. Because whether it is positive or not depends on what direction you choose as positive. Okay. Whether it is decelerating or speeding up depends on whether these two are aligned in direction or they are opposite in direction. Now here comes an important point. If an object was moving like this, and has an acceleration like this, it is going to slow down and it will stop. And if it continues having the same acceleration, it will now start to speed up. And by the time actually it comes here, it will have the same speed except in the opposite direction. And then it will keep speeding up. It will become faster and faster. So this portion is deceleration. This portion is not acceleration, speeding up. And it will speed up forever, as long as it was uniformly accelerated. But deceleration portion is only for a short time. Nothing is permanently decelerating. Okay. Now, I know that again in your schools, sometimes what will happen is, people will talk about uniform accelerated motion. And they will say, when a ball is thrown up, and it comes back down, in this part of the motion, acceleration is negative or positive? positive negative and when it is coming down it is positive first of all that is a wrong statement okay because that kills the whole point about this motion because if this ball goes up and comes back when it is going up what is its acceleration 9.8 or 10 meters per second square downwards downwards when it goes to the topmost point, at the topmost point, what is its acceleration? Mm, velocity is zero. If I threw this up, when it reaches there, if its acceleration became zero, no, it will just hang there. Is that what you see? Now its acceleration is zero because I am holding it. But when it went up, it is not going to remain hanging there for a while. That will be interesting to see. But you don't expect it to do that, right? So it comes back. So it stops there momentarily for a very very tiny amount of time so its velocity went like that then its velocity became zero and then started becoming this way it has zero velocity not zero acceleration how much acceleration does it have same 9.8 or 10 meters per second square actually 9.8 but we are going to call it 10 for calculation okay so we'll say 10 when it goes up topmost point 10 when it is coming down 
10. It was 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 throughout. Okay. How did it suddenly become upwards? When it was going, it is negative, downwards, it's positive. It was the same throughout. Why should it change sign? Because the initial velocity and acceleration So what? It is decelerating. It is speeding up. But it's acceleration and acceleration there is exactly the same. Here the acceleration is G which is 9.8 or 10 meters per second square. When it is here the acceleration is G. Do you see that both of them are in the same direction? They are both downwards. If I assumed up as positive for this question while it is going up it is negative because up is positive. While it is coming down it is negative because up is positive. So either you should say it is negative negative or if I chose the downward direction as positive I will say it is positive positive. You can't say it is negative positive. But if you look at the velocity while it is going up the velocity looks like this while it is coming down the velocity looks like this. If I chose up as positive I have positive velocity while coming down I have negative velocity. I have negative acceleration and negative acceleration. Same acceleration. What is the meaning of uniform acceleration? Same acceleration. If this is uniform accelerated motion, it has to have the same acceleration. How can it have minus 3 for some time and plus 3 for some time and you call it uniform? It's not uniform. But this is uniform. It is one acceleration. Same way when it is going from here to there, is this plus or minus is up to me. I can say this is plus, positive direction. Then what is this? Plus. While it is going from here to there, it is plus. It is plus. Because this is plus, that is plus. When it is coming back, it is plus. Okay. If I decided that this was not plus, but this was plus, then while it is going this way, it is minus, and here also it is minus. So whether it is plus or minus depends on what we choose as plus or minus. Okay, but it will be the same for the entire piece of motion. But for one part it is decelerating, the other part it is speeding up. So is everybody clear about this? Okay.